Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I just want to show you how you can set up your Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas in order to get above 60 FPS when you're playing. And you're going to have to just make a few INI changes. So depending on which one you're doing, Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas, you'll actually make the same changes to the same files. Now if you're using Steam, what you want to do is open your Steam game library and select either Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. Or you can do it to both at the same time, but you just want to select the game, right click, go to properties, local files, and browse local files. And the same thing, Fallout New Vegas, just right click, select properties, local files, and browse local files. Now if you're a GOG user, then you just want to open your GOG, and click on the game, select more, manage installation and show folder and the same thing follow new vegas just click on the game click more manage installation and show folder and that will bring up your game folder so once you have your game folder open you just want to look for the follow default ini and you're going to make your first change here the reason being is if the follow default writes a new follow INI it will keep the change so first check and make sure that it's not write protected so that you can make the change so right click on the file select properties and make sure that read only isn't checked if it's checked just uncheck it and say OK then you'll want to open the file by double clicking on it and you want to go to the edit and find and you're going to put in I present interval which I'll actually put it in the description under the video here so you can just copy paste it into the find box here and you want to click the find next and when it brings up the line here if it's set on one just set that to zero and then click on file and save once you've set it on zero. Now next you'll want to go to your documents folder and you'll want to go to my games then open up the Fallout 3 or the Fallout New Vegas or if you're doing both just open up both and once you're here then you want to start with the Fallout I and I so just right click on that select properties and make sure that it's not set on read only if so uncheck that and say OK and then next you want to open the file and same thing you want to go to edit and find I present interval and just click the find next and when it comes up if this is set on one just change that to zero close off the find box and save and close the file now lastly you want to go to the follow pref sign I here and you want to right click and select properties make sure that it's not read only if so uncheck that and say OK and then open the file up by double clicking on it go to edit find I present interval click the find next and again if this is set on one set it on zero close the find box and just save and close the file here that's basically it now as I said you do the exact same change for Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas and the files can be found in the same locations as you can see here, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 are both in my games. And I showed you on the GOG and the Steam how to access each game folder. Now if there are any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.